Now, these curves actually fit this equation. This is the Clausius-Clapeyron equation. Yeah, and you can see it's not linear. I would say it's exponential, except that they've chosen to write it in this format where they're using the natural log instead. If you used e right here and e right there, then you could turn it into something that looked exponential. But in this format, you are going to be able to draw something that is a line. So its normal one is not linear, as we saw on the previous slide. But if we did a graph, where we were taking the logarithms of pressures and comparing them to one over the temperature, which has to be in Kelvin, then we could in fact do something that looked linear. This would be Y equals M, and then one over T would be your value of X. So the Clausius-Clapeyron equation tells you about the vapor pressure of a particular substance, that's where the delta H comes in because that's for the particular substance. And then what are the temperatures that you're worried about? It's a more complicated equation than some of the others we've done. But you can see that as far as the variables, you have temperatures, you have pressures, and then you have delta H of vaporization, which is going to depend on what the substance is. One of the things I like to point out, because sometimes we are able to do uh, a final that is the ACS exam, is that the ACS exam does not give you this equation in this form. It gives you a related equation, which is something that we'll come across again in a different chapter, and it's related. You can see it has the same form, but it is somewhat different. It is a more general equation called the Van Hoft equation, and we'll examine that in chapter 14. The other thing that I want to point out about this equation is that written this way, you've got five different possible variables. And this is set up so that at any, you, you know, you'd have to have four of the variables and then you can find the fifth one. Another way that this could be written is the logarithm of the pressure is equal to negative delta H of vaporization over R times one over T plus a constant. And the difference between this equation and this equation is something that you should hopefully remember from algebra. This would be Y equals MX plus B. So this would be your you know, slope intercept form of an equation. And this would be the form that you would have used if you were doing a uh, point slope form. A point slope form would be like this because when we do a logarithm of something that's divided, it would be the same as logarithm of the top minus logarithm of the bottom. So that's a difference and this is a difference. And that's what you would see in a point-slope form.